All right, DB Music fans, as promised, this is my first in a series of brief videos that you'll find every Friday on Facebook. And the purpose of these videos is going to be to sort of enlighten you guys to a lot of the kind of tips and techniques and questions and things I get asked about often in lessons. And we're going to dive right into one that I get every time I pull out the acoustic guitar, and that's how I sort of achieve that percussive playing style or technique that I use a lot and that you find all kinds of people using anytime they're doing anything acoustic in the rock, jazz, blues, funk, singer, songwriter, indie, you name it, finger style. And it's a little bit different from palm mute. In palm mute, you still have that nice string ring, but you get a, a muted sound to it. With this percussive style of playing, what I do is what I call covering the strings. And what I mean by that, and you can see it from this angle, is that instead of a palm mute where I keep my hand nice and open, I really come down on the top of the strings, covering them all, and keeping the pick over the strings as well. I don't let it go down past the high E string. For me, what I like about it is that it sort of gives me a snare drum and bass drum-like quality to what I'm playing, so I get that snappy snare sound. But because I keep it covered and keep the pick over the strings, I get that nice low end thump. So for an example, this is a tune that I wrote probably close to 20 years ago. Sis, if you're watching this, you know this one. And it uses a lot of open picking, open strumming, but it also relies on this percussive style of muting and really covering during the chorus section of it. So it's just like a little Reader's Digest version of it, give you an idea. Here's how it goes. Just in case you're wondering, that's just double drop D, so all I've done is tune both the high and low E strings down to the D note. Nothing magical going on there. But you can see what happened in that section where I use this covered playing. You hear the... And what I'm doing there is almost getting that nice click, 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 click sound, sort of emulating the snare on it and emulating that low bass drum. So, recapping. The percussive style that I use, it's not like a palm mute where it's nice and light and open and I get just more of a muted effect to the strings. This is more of a covered thing, so instead of that I get this nice heavy sound and I really keep everything covering the strings, including the pick. You can do this at home practicing. Grab your acoustic guitar, sit down in front of the television, and work on making your strum like you normally would, but cover those strings and keep everything up over top of them, pick and all and just sit there and do this. There's no need to work on any speed with this. It's all about the technique. Learn it slow, then speed it up. That's the tip of the month here for September. So give it a shot. Good luck. Uh, I hope you get a, a good hand on it and can use it and start using it in your own thing. I think it's a great one. Hopefully you will too. And we'll see you next week for another one. Thanks.